Hey, Libra. My beautiful Libras. Y'all some beautiful people, okay? So <laughs> we are about to get into your summer solstice reading for, let me see something, okay. Yeah, okay. So the messages that I was getting for you guys is um, a lot about sensuality, right? So really tapped into how it is that you are feeling, what it is that you want to feel and, um, and, and only doing that, being in that, involving yourself in, in things that make you feel the way you want to feel, right? Whether that it, that is having to do with what you hear, what you see, okay? Um, what you taste, food, all of that, right? And really making sure that the mood is set, that the mood is right for living, for life in the way in which you are desiring what you're wanting. Um, I, had, I had to play with the light a lot before I did my recordings today. And I was like, I'm only doing y'all's reading today. <laughs> uh, really focus on the mood, right? And um, spirit has been speaking through work, through music, through these summer solstice readings, right? And um, the song that kept coming up for y'all was, uh, what's that? I don't know the name of that song. Of what you doing? Where you at? Uh, by Bruno Mars and that guy. I don't know his name. All right, y'all. Um, oh, what is the name of that song? Either way. Um, I'm looking good, uh, feeling what I don't. I'm gonna attach a link to the song uh, in the description box because I can't think of the words all of a sudden. Um, oh, you got plans? Don't say that. I'm sipping wine in a row. I look too good to be alone. All of that. All right, that is y'all's vibe for this summer. Hold on. Okay. Oh, my house clean, pool warm, just shaves, feeling like a new one. That's the words, okay? So we're going to get into these dice. Let's go ahead and just get into the divination. All right, and see what y'all got going on here. Feeling goofy like a leaper, y'all. Some goofy people. <laughs> oh, it keeps the fun going, though. Y'all are such fun people. Okay, spirit, so... What messages do you have for Libra for this summer solstice? Libra. Oh, so y'all are moving. And that's for sure. You got Pluto and Gemini in the fourth house. Okay, new neighbors. Um, a rebirth in your home life as well things transforming and moving forward in a way that really serves you, like releasing karma uh, as when it comes to home life as well. Like, so if you have been in this space of not really living in a, in a place that you were really, you've really been wanting to live, you, you shit, the mood is shifting. Literally like Gemini is a, a whole mood. Um, Right, because when they're when they are having a good time, things are fun and, and light and and fresh. And, and when uh, it's not, they come through fuck shit up, you know. So, you know, and but feeling very secure in wherever it is that you are moving, where it is that your life is transforming to. Also, possibly your influence is changing. Right, the place in which it is that you kind of come from, um, maybe lightening up. Uh, feeling more on like this forward movement road. Also, if you are focused on building business, that is taking some movement as well. Yes, baby. Okay, so um, so there is some very there's some deep transformations happening within, but it's not going to be anything that is. Hard. It's going to be light. It's going to flow. It's going to be really breezy. Okay. And putting you in a space of enjoyment, like within internally, your relationships with your mother 
input or mother figures maybe transforming as well. Um, maybe you as a mother, um, the relationship it is that you have within yourself and in being a mother, that may be changing. You may be lightening your load as well. Um, maybe seeking some assistance too. I don't know, maybe you're purchasing a home, okay? Um, and this is something that you have really been desiring, um, something that really resonates with who it is that you are. Bashar, why did you slam that door? Okay, so yeah, Bashar was upset because the wings off of one of his action figures, the wings, the what's it called? The cape off of his action figures broke. <laughs> and so uh, I guess the message from that is even when you feel like you can't fly, know that it's still capable because the action figure, she don't need a cape to fly. She she flies regardless. All right. <laughs> he just it, it's not about the aesthetics. OK, it is about um, the aesthetics. The outward appearance don't make you. It is what is in within that that makes you who it is that you are. You are already that. All right. Don't forget that. So um, that is, you know, what is basically being um, cult not necessarily cultivated, but that you're going to be living in. That's going to be your world, your personal world. I can't say for sure if you're going to be sharing it with other people. You may because you have Gemini energy here, but this is only people that you're really close with, that you love, that you um connect with on a regular basis as well there may be some transformation in regards to how you connect with your siblings too it may just be your perception of that of them all right but you or some some things may be being revealed to you in regards to your siblings to your close family um there may be some transformation taking place here this is pluto is about death and rebirth um so something may be ending um something may be coming to a close in regards to how you have been kind of relating to your own self and what has been taking place in regards to how that has manifested through you from what you have learned through your family and that really um the whatever this is it's a lesson a knowing it is that you're being received in this and it's really going to heighten your awareness um the depth of your understanding of why you're here what it is that you that you do all right and what it is that you have right and and how that assists you in feeling secure how that assists you in in um your um ability to attract to have um and to just be settled right, to be grounded, all right, because with uh, Gemini here wants to move around, right, but Pluto is here, and it's fixed energy in the fourth house, which is cardinal, right, so this is like a very strong um, transformation happening of, one, the mind, right, where it has kind of been stagnant within, in whatever it is that you've kind of taken on from family, from your mother, your relationship with your mother, any ideas it is that you've even been holding in regards to what it is that you feel like you should be showing up as in regards to a parent, as a parent, All right? And perhaps very focused on re-nourishing and nurturing yourself in these aspects as well, Spirit. What else is here for Libra? What else would you like Libra to know for this summer solstice? Libra. Okay, tower card. All right, so you got the big house here. So whatever the the okay. So in this card depicts behind this magnifying glass, this looking glass is a plantation, and at the top is people falling out the window. It, it's burning to the ground. But this lady is looking through the looking glass and she don't see that. She see beauty. She see happiness, fulfillment. So whatever, wherever it is that you have been kind of disillusioned in regards to um, 
your foundation, what, what brings you stability that is changing, right? You're receiving a new knowing in this, a new sense of understanding that is going to assist you in building a, a more stable and secure foundation for yourself and for your life, for your home, for your family, right? One that is not turbulent, one that does not, it's not shoddy in its, um, uh, in its expression, how it how it, it shows itself, how it reveals itself. Okay, all right. And in the fourth house, we have the seven of nines. So you you what whatever it is that you weren't seeing clearly, whatever type of deception. Um, how you may have deceived your own self or how others may have deceived you, you are learning um, a new way of going about things, right? So perhaps there have been people in your family who have just not been very trustworthy, who you have not been able to feel secure in yourself around, right? Or perhaps there were just experiences of the past that, that kind of catapulted um, these feelings within yourself. You are, this is lending you a hand at new strategic moves to support your own sense of self, your own sense of safety, right? And doing things in a way that is more aligned to what is going to allow things to stick, allow things to stay, okay? Um, uh, things really manifesting, you are able to, you're in the space of being able to detach yourself from the past, right, from um, whatever, uh, from whatever it is that has been really holding you back, um, but doing this in a way that is for your benefit, all right, so we have here Dr. Buzzard. Dr. Buzzard is the justice card, All right? So this is your energy. This is what this Pluto energy is doing for you, is getting you back to your own personal expression, who is tapping you into your star, your, your, your star magic, right? Okay, and, and really putting you on a path that it belongs to you. Right, but also receiving just due that is deserving of you. Granted, Dr. Buzzard, he was um, a lawyer who used roots to get even the guilty off. Okay, but in this situation, um, this is not the case, right? Because you have the tower here, you have seven of knives here, and then the justice card here. So it's almost like something is being revealed to you um, in regards to what it is that it's more in, an internal kind of conversation that's happening here, right? It's getting you more aligned with, you have here, this is Bishop C.H. Mason. He is um, the Hierophant. So this is helping you tap in with your, with your wisdom, okay? Um, your internal wisdom uh, is helping you tap into, it's a lot of, you got some luck coming up, something, especially in regards to finances, money. Um, this shift that's happening for you within you is really transforming um, the way in which it is that you've been going about uh, having things and how the perspective it is that you've been holding up until all this point of uh, what that really looks like, what is possible and what you're capable of, right? And, and in this, um, and because some, the, even though, right, okay. So sometimes even though we, we have these uh, influences surrounding us, um, we are still the ones who are responsible of how we receive that and how we allow that to really manifest through us and in our world. But sometimes things, bury themselves into our psyches to where we don't really recognize how it is that this is manifesting, right? So at times we simply deceive ourselves. So this is, is you coming up out of that deception, right? Because it was, it was, it was feeble. It, it was not serving you, all right? It was creating much more, um, much more havoc than necessary. You are shifting the mood, 
right? Because after that song came up, um, what is the thing? I can, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pac. That's that guy's name. Okay. Or maybe that's the name of their group. Y'all, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Those names do come with that song, though. Uh, but the other song that came up was um, Justin Timberlake. Uh, it's some. It's an interlude song. Is uh, wanna set the mood right? Uh, I'm gonna make you feel alright. However, okay. So you are shifting out of all of that energy, right? And in setting the mood right not getting out of that space of all things feeling like they can be pulled like a rug can always be pulled under you and and he is a aquarius right the tower part for me is aquarius energy is uranus energy in the seven of knives it is um it's aquarius energy but it's, it expresses itself more as um as your energy right um is more of a Libran vibe than anything. So this is also about your relationships, your partnerships, who you work with as well. And in that changing based off of how it is that you're shifting internally too, you may begin doing something new, something, something that you may have been desiring to do, but just wasn't in the right space to do it. Right. And in, in that, um, you haven't been willing to be the student of your life up until this point is going to allow you to be in that space. Okay. What else is your spirit for? My beautiful believers, trespassers. All right. So we have trespassers here. She got this ax. She ready to like, no, you're not, you're not welcome. You're not welcome here. All right. Stay stay out of stay out of bounds all right and she is a number 56 trespassers speak about boundaries right so it's important that while you with whatever is going on whatever is transforming for you um what's changing what's shifting it's going to be important for you to put up your boundaries right because you know we we have to once we get into this new space of thought new space of being it's important that we protect ourselves from what is capable of influencing us to uh, not align to what it is that belongs to us. And she is a number 11, same as the justice card. So you are really coming into who it is that you are, right? And that, that needs to be um, protected. It does. You need to um, make sure that you have healthy boundaries with yourself, with others, okay? And at the bottom, you have companions. So there are people who are around you, who you who really support you, okay? Who are there for you, who you can speak with, who you can talk to, but this is also your spirit guides, your ancestors. They are here for you. They are supporting you in this. Trust whatever it is that you're doing, where you're going. Stay true to your own path. What is it? Uh, um, what is your personal lineage? Okay, I just had this conversation the other day. What and when I say lineage, I don't necessarily mean like your family. Like what? What is it that um, makes sense for you to carry out in yourself in your life? What does that mean for you? What is true for you? What are you passing down in a sense? What what? What will people see you for, see you as, right? And, and, and what does that mean for you? How does that feel for you, all right? That it's already within, you already know this. Okay, so the next card that you have here is the striped dolphin. So this is, this is about creating good news, flowing through the ether waves will be that will answer your prayers. So definitely you have some messages coming through this, um, this 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 season this summer season okay and it's really going to be supportive of where it is that you're headed into happiness you are creating a world of happiness for you right it says 
Can you see that? Okay, there we go. It says, from the depths of your soul, you deserve the help that you have asked for. You will be jumping with happiness at a brilliant offer. The graceful striped dolphin that loves riding beside speed boats and leaping out of water predicts a surprise happening out of the blue for you. Joining a new class, beginning a new job, as well as traveling to hot and sunny places in company of hundreds or thousands is forecasted for you. The striped dolphin advised you to be, be, be aware of becoming a straggler, like a fish which finds behind, falls behind the school and is caught in the many invariable tuna nets. Keep in the swim of things and you will find yourself in safe waters with your family. So this is basically focusing on what it is that is meant for you, right? Not getting caught up or consumed with um, another's whatever, right? Because that is not necessarily for you, okay? It's not serving you. The people, and then you got Mermaid's Glove here at the bottom, right? And she is, she speaks about confidant. So at the bottom, you have companions and confidant here. You have people around you already who are very supportive of you, who are going to allow you to be able to feel comfortable in doing what it is that you're doing, right? Stay close to them. You may even be building a relationship with someone who um, is offering you that as well. Okay, but you're definitely getting into something new, learning something new. Um, you may be your own teacher, but you may be signing up for something that is going to offer you this um, sense of security and stability is that you have been desiring for all this up until this point, right? So that that, that, that shaky foundation it is, that, that here or there, like that, um, that kind of uh, uh, rocky Gemini energy can finally be balanced so it can be able to express itself wholly. All right, so what crystal do we have here for Libra Spirit? Libra, I feel like your reading is going to end up being the longest, or so far anyway. I've been trying to keep these to 20 minutes, but <gasps> um, I think I got a big appetite though. Okay, so here we have the black, the Tibetan black quartz. It says, lighten up your spiritual path. Who needs it? Metaphysics, occultists, trantics, trantists, and Sagittarians. Okay, and Libra, y'all are very similar to Sagittarian energy. Um, it says, use it when you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion or when you're pulling tarot cards. Okay, so this is to help you get grounded, um, to help you be clear, get very stable and sure about what it is that you're doing, where it is that you're going. Okay. And how, and, and kind of also when in regards to trusting the process, right? Because enlightenment comes when, um, as we take time to become enlightened, <laughs> you know, as we, we move through everything, move through the shadows, move through that self-work it is that we have to push through, you know, getting very clear in who it is that we are. So let's see. What else is here? It's a relationship card and we have here acceptance. So you may be needing to accept yourself, but you may need be needing to also simply accept a situation for what it is, right? It says, when I get to know new people, I accept their actual traits rather than the ones I project onto them. Okay, same goes for not, for not new people. I already know acceptance is the delicate art that reminds us everyone is their own unique self and we can't expect them to ever be anything but man, how do those snowflakes do it? So what this is speaking to me is this come back, comes back to these boundaries, right? And whatever it is that you are moving forward and taking care of and making happen in your life, you know, the people who you come in contact with, um, don't try and make them more than what they are. They are who they are, right? But this is also um, with... Um, people that you already know they are who they are <laughs> you know you can't help but allow them to just simply be that and um acceptance definitely goes a long way and creates 
uh, allows a different perspective to manifest for you in that. What else is here for Libra spirit? Libra engagement. Okay. So this is about engaging with others, talking to others, getting to know people, right? Uh, speaking, being out in the world, basically, right? And also a need to have patience with what is taking place here. You got grace and patience here with you too. So know that timing is on your side. You just need to be focused on what it is that is happening, what it is that you are doing for yourself, for your life right and understand and, and offer grace offer grace as people um show up as people leave possibly if that's the thing um engagement says today i make the choice to engage with the world in an active way i'll take a new route talk to strangers i will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot for a while if i'm not inside a 7 11 at the very least I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than average and that in at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany or make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. So, <clears throat> yes, you may be, some things come, becoming revealed for you. Coming out into the open. Basically, a lot of clarity being had here. What else is here, Spirit? For Libra. Okay. Some maybe relationship is coming back. You may be renewing some relationships. Okay, because here you have this is the second half of fall. All right. And this speaks about reconciling. So perhaps you are reconciling some energy it is that you have put out um, that is, is coming back to you. Um, is this is coming out under Gemini. So this is in regards to your relationships. Um, maybe you are reconciling a, a lack of understanding. You thought you knew something. You had some particular impression of a thing and that is not actually the case, right? So it's coming to reconcile itself to, in a sense, bring a peace, allow you to, again, come into that space of, um, of stability with whatever whatever it is that is coming undone for you whatever is crumbling for you it's and it may be this move it is that you are having right um that is supporting you and being able to really come out on the other side of what hasn't been working okay and but also in regards to communication um you may be finding yourself gaining something in regards to your communication and choosing to communicate right in a way that is true to who it is that you are without hiding that without feeling like you need to hide behind any type of mask or any type of agenda that doesn't necessarily serve you belong to you what else is here for Libra spirit Okay, yeah, you're focusing on the beauty of things. So this is Het Heru. Um, she is the six of Lotus. So you were coming out of the darkness, right? On the other side, beauty is really about to fill your world. You are getting what it is that you deserve in a really abundant, beautiful, and fulfilling way. Happiness is about to truly flood your life, okay? A, a lot of balance, a lot of harmony, whatever it is that is... Um, has not been serving you okay it's definitely um in, in the re the real recognition of this right and coming out on the other side of the thing is definitely um bringing some strong fulfillment in your world right in your possessions because head her root is Taurus energy all right and um, she's about beauty, divine love, protection, and nurturing, embodies the ideal feminine magnetism and rhythmic pulse of creation. It rules the heart and heart center in the inner child. So really being tapped into your sense of innocence, you may be really tapping into your manifestation abilities this summer as well, or more so recognizing your ability to manifest, right? And um, 
you may be connecting with women who also are on this frequency, but you may also um, be just tapping into that aspect within yourself. For men, men might be um, coming in contact with a woman who provides that, that expression in their world as well. <clears throat> Or this may already be a woman in your world. What else is this? What else is here, spirit? What else does Libra need to know? You got the bouquet. All right. This is the Ten of Cups as well. Okay. So things are manifesting. Money is coming in. Okay. A change of joy and love. All right. You are really... And just happy. The children happy. You happy. Your spouse is happy. The family good. You eating good. You feeling good. You living good. Shit's beautiful. All right, Libra. Like, wow. Like, I have the, the strongest feeling in my gut, like, of, of fulfillment, of happiness. All right. You may be also receiving some type of recognition um, in some regard to um the love it is that you share right your happiness um but also you know just coming you are really coming out on on a, the other side life is really transforming for you the sun is promoting a lot of growth okay for you libra yeah you are being getting tapped into your sacred rhythm all right anything outside of you that it has no influence. And that is where that boundaries card comes in. You have put your boundaries up. All right. You know what, you know who you are. You know what is necessary for you. All right. You know what you want. You know where you're going. You know what, how you want it to feel. And that is manifesting. And yeah, you focus on what, on purpose, on path. That, that is a very, um, intangible kind of fulfillment right something that cannot be given to you something that can only be cultivated from within what is here spirit yeah so have a good time with this play don't be so serious be lighthearted, tap into that Gemini energy, go with the flow, okay, of that fourth house energy, even that, even though Pluto is a fixed energy, it's still in the flow, it's water, all right, you have people here supporting you, we have people devoted to you, um, connect with any teachers it is that is going to support you, but it feels like that you may be that teacher, um, but you may just also be tapping into your inner mystic, your inner priest, priestess however and beauty is definitely um it is definitely what is a, a strong focus for you with this bouquet and head hair coming out okay and yeah things are being reconciled you are justice is being had you are causing effects in your life based off of um how it is that you have been choosing to move how it is that you've been choosing to perceive and see things and see the clarity of and, and just be clear in what is real okay you are acting on your dreams you have such loving people around you and your spirit guides and your ancestors are fully supporting you in this okay what is here comfort you have comfort here okay and it says being alone and being lonely are two different things so and then at the bottom you have self-mastery <laughs> so you are really coming into this space of fully being in you fully being yourself all right and who it is that you are who who you want to be who you know yourself to be okay what stone is this this is a a chair chairite chairite is that no comfort chairite 
I've never seen this stone before. This is new for me, but these are lilies here in the background. And that speaks all about home, um, coming back home to yourself, coming into the wholeness of yourself, right? And knowing that you are never alone, okay? And really enjoying your alone time as well, okay, Libra? And realizing that um, if you are feeling lonely, you have full control of that. All right, so have fun with this. I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that this is helpful for you, Libra, in this summer season. Um, if you would like to share, please let me know. I would love to, you know, celebrate with you. Uh, however, this is coming about for you. All right, and yeah, I hope that y'all have a wonderful summer and I will see y'all in the fall. All right, I love y'all. Bye.